On September 26, 2022, NASA achieved something truly unprecedented. They deliberately crashed a spacecraft into an asteroid at 6.6 .6 kilometers per second and, get this, completely changed its orbit. The DART mission wasn't just about proving we could hit a space rock. No, it was humanity's first successful test of planetary defense technology. But what happened after the collision honestly shocked scientists and revealed truths about asteroids that nobody really expected. The aftermath of this cosmic collision is well rewriting everything we thought we knew about protecting Earth from space threats. The Journey to Impact NASA's Double Asteroid Redirection Test, or DART, began its historic journey on November 24, 2021, launching from Cape Canaveral Space Launch Complex 40 atop a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket. The refrigerator-sized spacecraft traveled for nearly 10 months across 11 million kilometers of space to reach its target, a small asteroid moonlit called Dimorphos. The mission team, led by project scientist Dr. Nancy Chabot at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory, had meticulously planned every detail of this unprecedented experiment. Unlike previous space missions that aimed to study celestial objects, DART was designed with one purpose – to slam into Dimorphos and change its orbital path around the larger asteroid Didymos. The spacecraft carried advanced navigation systems that would allow it to autonomously guide itself to impact during the final four hours of flight since the 11-minute communication delay with Earth made real-time control totally impossible. As DART approached its target, onboard cameras captured dramatic images of the asteroid growing larger and larger, marking humanity's first intentional collision with another world for planetary defense purposes. The perfect target. Dimorphos proved to be the ideal testing ground for this groundbreaking experiment, measuring approximately 160 meters in diameter and orbiting its larger companion Didymos every 11.9 hours. The binary asteroid system, located about 11 million kilometers from Earth at the time of impact, posed no threat to our planet, making it a safe target for this high-stakes test. Didymos, the larger asteroid measuring 780 meters across, served as the gravitational anchor for its smaller moonlet. Scientists chose this system because any change in Dimorphos's orbit could be precisely measured from Earth using ground-based telescopes and radar systems. The asteroid pair was discovered in 1996 and had been extensively studied, providing researchers with detailed baseline measurements of their orbital characteristics. The proximity of the two asteroids meant that even a small change in Dimorphos's velocity would produce a measurable shift in its orbital period around Didymos. This binary system represented the perfect natural laboratory for testing kinetic impactor technology, close enough to Earth for accurate observation, large enough to produce detectable changes, yet far enough away to ensure complete safety for our planet throughout the experiment. The Moment of Impact At exactly 2314 UTC on September 26, 2022, DART slammed into Dimorphos at a closing speed of 6.14 km per second, releasing kinetic energy equivalent to approximately 2.5 tons of TNT. The collision occurred with pinpoint accuracy, striking the asteroid surface and instantly vaporizing the 610-kilogram spacecraft along with a portion of the asteroid's rocky material. Ground-based telescopes around the world captured the dramatic moment as a brilliant flash of light erupted from the impact site, followed by an expanding cloud of debris that grew brighter over several hours. The Hubble Space Telescope and James Webb Space Telescope immediately began observing the aftermath documenting the evolution of the ejecta plume as it stretched across thousands of kilometers of space. Within minutes of impact, the debris cloud had expanded beyond Dimorphos itself, creating a spectacular tail of material that resembled a comet's tail stretching behind the asteroid. Amateur astronomers joined professional observatories in tracking the collision's effects, witnessing history as humanity demonstrated its ability to alter the path of a celestial object. The impact created seismic waves that rippled across Dimorphos's surface, potentially reshaping the asteroid's internal structure in ways that scientists are still working to understand. Beyond all expectations. The results of the DART impact exceeded every prediction and shattered the mission's success criteria. Instead of the minimum 73-second change in orbital period that would have declared the test successful, Dimorphos's orbit around Didymos shortened by an astounding 32 minutes. This dramatic change represented a 26-fold improvement over the mission's baseline requirements, 
proving that kinetic impactor technology was far more effective than scientists had dared to hope. The massive orbital change resulted not just from the direct momentum transfer of the spacecraft's impact, but from the unexpected efficiency of the momentum multiplication effect created by the ejected debris. As material blasted away from the impact site it carried additional momentum in the opposite direction, acting like a natural rocket engine that amplified the deflection effect. Dr. Tom Statler, DART program scientist at NASA, described the results as a watershed moment for planetary defense and humanity's ability to influence our cosmic environment. The orbital change was so significant that it could be measured by small telescopes and even confirmed by radar observations from Arecibo Observatory and the Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex. This level of deflection meant that if Dimorphos had been on a collision course with Earth, the impact would have shifted its trajectory by hundreds of thousands of kilometers. The Mysterious Ejecta Cloud The debris cloud created by DART's impact revealed secrets about asteroid composition that puzzled scientists worldwide. Instead of the uniform dust plume that computer models predicted, the ejecta displayed complex structures including multiple debris streams, spiral patterns, and irregular particle distributions that suggested Dimorphos had a far more complex internal structure than anticipated. Dr. Christina Thomas at Northern Arizona University, who led the observational campaign, noted that the debris cloud evolved in unexpected ways over the following weeks. Some particles were ejected at speeds exceeding 500 meters per second, while others moved much more slowly, creating distinct populations of material with different trajectories and behaviors. The cloud's asymmetric shape indicated that Dimorphos wasn't a solid uniform rock, but likely a rubble pile, a loose collection of smaller rocks and boulders held together by weak gravitational forces. High-resolution images from ground-based telescopes revealed that the ejecta contained both fine dust particles and larger chunks of material, some potentially meters in size. The debris cloud's brightness variation suggested that different types of material were being ejected from various depths within the asteroid, providing unprecedented insights into the internal layering and composition of small solar system bodies. Hera's Investigative Mission Recognizing the need to understand DART's impact in detail, the European Space Agency launched the HERA mission in October 2024 to conduct a comprehensive post-impact investigation. This follow-up mission represents an unprecedented example of international cooperation in planetary defense, with HERA scheduled to arrive at the Didymo system in late 2026 to examine the crater left by DART's collision. The spacecraft carries advanced instruments including high-resolution cameras, thermal imagers, and radar subsystems designed to map both asteroids down to centimeter scale resolution. HERA will measure the precise size and depth of DART's impact crater, analyze the composition of exposed subsurface material and determine how the impact altered the internal structure of both Dimorphos and its parent asteroid Didymos. The mission will also deploy two small CubeSats called Juventus and Milani to conduct complementary investigations, including the first radar sounding of an asteroid's interior and detailed gravitational field mapping. Dr. Patrick Michel, Hera's principal investigator, emphasized that understanding the physical properties revealed by DART's impact is crucial for designing future deflection missions. The data collected by Hera will validate computer models used to predict deflection effectiveness and provide the foundation for operational planetary defense systems. Unraveling Asteroid Mysteries The DART impact revealed that small asteroids like Dimorphos are far more complex than scientists previously understood, fundamentally changing how we think about these cosmic building blocks. Pre-impact models assumed asteroids were relatively simple objects with predictable responses to external forces, but the dramatic success of the deflection demonstrated that rubble-pile asteroids behave more like fluid structures than solid rocks. Dr. Andy Rivkin at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory noted that the impact's efficiency suggested Dimorphos has very low internal cohesion, allowing the impact energy to propagate throughout the entire structure and eject material from multiple locations. The asteroid surface appears to be covered in loose regolith, fine, rocky debris accumulated over millions of years that was easily disturbed by the impact's shock waves. Spectroscopic observations of the ejecta revealed that Dimorphos contains ordinary chondrite minerals, similar to the most common meteorites found on Earth, but with unusual proportions that suggest a complex formation history. 
The impact also provided insights into how small asteroids respond to tidal forces from their parent bodies, with evidence suggesting that Dimorphos experiences ongoing surface changes due to its proximity to Didymos. These discoveries have profound implications for understanding asteroid evolution, the formation of binary systems, and the potential resources available on near-Earth asteroids for future space missions. Complications for Future Defense While DART proved that kinetic impactors can deflect asteroids, the mission also revealed complications that will influence future planetary defense strategies. The unexpectedly large orbital change, while impressive, highlighted just how difficult it is to predict exactly how different asteroids will respond to impact. Dr. Nancy Chabot emphasized that the momentum multiplication factor, the ratio of total momentum change to the spacecraft's initial momentum, varied significantly from pre-impact predictions, reaching values between 2.2 and 4.9 depending on the measurement method. This variability means that future deflection missions will require detailed advanced characterization of target asteroids to predict their response accurately. The complex ejecta pattern suggested that asteroid internal structure, surface composition, and rotation state all influence deflection efficiency in ways that current models just don't fully capture. The discovery that small asteroids behave more like loosely bound rubble piles than solid objects means that deflection strategies must account for potentially dramatic differences in material properties between different asteroid types. Mission planners now recognize that successful planetary defense will require a library of deflection techniques tailored to specific asteroid characteristics, rather than a one-size-fits-all approach. The DART results also emphasize the importance of early detection and characterization, since deflection effectiveness depends critically on understanding an asteroid's physical properties years before any potential impact threat. Global Planetary Defense Initiative The success of the DART mission has catalyzed unprecedented international cooperation in planetary defense, transforming what was once considered science fiction into practical space policy. NASA's Planetary Defense Coordination Office established in 2016 now works closely with the European Space Agency, Japan's JAXA, and other international partners to develop comprehensive strategies for detecting and deflecting hazardous near-Earth objects. The United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs has established new protocols for sharing asteroid tracking data and coordinating deflection missions, recognizing that planetary defense is a global responsibility requiring multinational collaboration. Ground-based survey telescopes like the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona and the Linear Program in New Mexico continue discovering new potentially hazardous asteroids at rates exceeding 1,000 per year, building a comprehensive catalog of objects that might someday threaten Earth. Space-based detection systems including NASA's NEOWISE mission and the planned NEO Surveyor Telescope will dramatically improve our ability to find and track smaller asteroids that ground-based systems might miss. The establishment of the International Asteroid Warning Network ensures that discovery data reaches decision-makers quickly enough to enable deflection missions if needed. These coordinated efforts represent humanity's first serious attempt to protect our planet from cosmic threats that have caused mass extinctions throughout Earth's history. The Future of Planetary Defense The DART mission's spectacular success has laid the foundation for humanity's first operational planetary defense system but it also revealed how much we still need to learn about deflecting dangerous asteroids. Future missions will build on DART's legacy by testing different deflection techniques including gravity tractors, nuclear standoff detonations, and enhanced kinetic impactors designed for specific asteroid types and threat scenarios. NASA's follow-up missions are already in development, including concepts for multi-spacecraft deflection systems that could handle larger asteroids or provide backup capabilities for critical deflection attempts. The double asteroid redirection test proved that humanity possesses the technological capability to alter the course of celestial objects, marking our species' transition from passive observers of cosmic events to active participants in shaping our solar system's dynamics. Advanced computer simulations now incorporate DART's impact data to model deflection scenarios with unprecedented accuracy enabling mission planners to design precise interventions for specific threat asteroids. The mission's success has also sparked development of rapid response deflection technologies that could be deployed on shorter timescales for newly discovered threats. 
Most importantly, DART demonstrated that international cooperation and scientific expertise can overcome seemingly impossible challenges, providing a template for tackling other global threats that require coordinated human action on planetary scales. So there you have it. NASA didn't just hit an asteroid, they revolutionized planetary defense and revealed that asteroids are far stranger than we imagined. Which discovery about the DART mission surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed learning about humanity's first successful planetary defense test, make sure to like this video, share it with someone who loves real space breakthroughs, and don't forget to subscribe to Psy and Y for more incredible discoveries about our universe. Until next time, keep exploring the cosmos.